Hi. This week I'm talking about an article that was in Harvard Business Review entitled Skills that Matter for Organisational Success. And it said that the four things there on the right are what are needed by the CEO and the C-suite. I've said that they are things that are needed throughout the entire organisation. But they've made the point that for organisational success, these strong social skills are critical. And the first one they called out was a high level of self-awareness. That's about understanding yourself, understanding your emotions and understanding how they affect other people. And self-awareness is the foundation of emotional intelligence. And Daniel Goleman, who wrote the Emotional Intelligence, Why It Can Matter More Than IQ back in 1995, he defines self-awareness, and I'll read this. Self-awareness is the ability to understand your emotions and their effects on your performance. You know what you're feeling and why, and how it helps or hurts what you are trying to do. You sense how others see you, and so align your self-image with a larger reality. You have an accurate sense of your strengths and limitations, which gives you a realistic self-confidence. It also gives you clarity on your values and sense of purpose. So you can be more decisive when you set a course of action. So how do we become more self-aware? Well, I'm going to share um, with my take on them, 15 self-awareness strategies um, from Travis Bradbury and Jean Greaves. The first one was, you know, stop feeling, quit feeling your um, emotions as good or bad. Stop judging your emotions and understand them. Don't say that's a bad emotion, that's a good emotion. Understand what those emotions really are. So don't judge, because if you judge, you won't see the cause of the original feeling. The second is observe the ripple effects from your emotions. So recognise that when you act out your emotions, you allow yourself to be triggered. The impacts can be long term. And on more than one person who whom you directed your emotion at. And lean into your discomfort. We try to ignore or push aside the unpleasant emotions. We actually need to lean into those and understand what they are. If we avoid them, we can't understand them. And we need to feel our emotions physically. What are the physical changes? Do you get, do your shoulders go up? Do you clench your fists? What are the emotion, the physical changes that happen to you when you get an emotional response to something? When you can identify and link the two, you're better able to understand those emotions. I'll talk to you tomorrow about some more strategies for self-awareness. Talk to you then. Bye.